I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I coach people. I'm an executive job search and leadership coach, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's a site with curated information you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly. Now, you've got the offer. Fabulous. I'm happy for you. And I want you to think back to your interviews and what you saw and who you saw around the office. Now, for those of you who are not people who look like me, you know, basic white guy, now I'm older, but let's look at someone generationally appropriate for you as well. You know, when you look around the office, are there people like you who work there? Or are you going to be the token in the environment, the person who brings diversity culture to them, which translates into you're all alone in many respects and have no one or few opportunities to feel understood, or let me restate that, may have few opportunities to be understood, or you have to conform to their culture because they're oblivious. Now, that's okay, but I also want you to understand it's a lot easier if there's been a trailblazer before you and there's someone still there who is someone that you can relate to. Now, I want to be clear. It's an interesting phenomenon because, you know, with time, you want to be involved with the environment and the culture and the people there, but there's also the part of the adjustment time and whether or not there's someone there who understands your experiences, understands what it's like to be someone who is filling the minority or diversity group there. And I also want to be clear, this is multicultural, cross-cultural. So, for example, in IT, there have been many people who were originally born in India who came to the United States and have achieved very well. And I've heard from many white people going to work for an Indian firm is very complicated for them uh, because culturally they perceive they're always on the outside looking in. So, are you always going to be the one who's on the outside trying to evangelize them being more open? Or is there an ally that you're going to have to work with while you get acclimated to the environment and who has your back as you challenge certain norms? And I want to be clear, challenge doesn't mean being adversarial. It's often educating people who have a blind spot and it's often hard. So does everyone look like someone else? Or is there someone there who looks like you, who has a similar background to you, who is involved with the interviewing, who you had a chance to connect with, who can be an ally for you and you for them once you come on board? Don't neglect this as part of your assessment for joining an organization, because so often I've heard from people who wind up in situations where they wind up losing. So, hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. If you'd be interested in advice from me or coaching from me, reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Obviously, I charge for my services. Connect with me on LinkedIn, whether you wind up using me for coaching or not. These days, I'm only accepting connection requests from people in the U.S. unless you mention that you watch my videos, listen to my podcasts, or what have you. My YouTube channel, JobSearchTV.com, was recently named the top 10 job search site on YouTube or service on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, see that little icon down there? Just click on it. Sorry, this is backward for me. Click on the little icon for me, and uh, you'll be subscribed and noticed and just and be notified whenever I release a new video. Also, going to mention my podcast, No BS Job Search Advice. Again, a top ten podcast for job search. Subscribe to that. You'll get notifications every day about a new podcast episode. So, hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin. Have a great day. Take care.